I'm Dr. Caitlin Nail, and I'm going to be showing you how to do an autopsy. I am a forensic pathologist, and uh, what I do is I take my patients, I do autopsies on them to find out how they died. Now, this patient has obviously been beaten to death, but you never know because there's sometimes internal problems that may have happened, poisoning, um, appendix bursting, and stuff like this. We need to find out everything that happened to this person to make sure that they died. Now, in cases like this, we do do murder, like we have murder cases down here. Um, the first thing you want to do in an autopsy is check the outside, the skin. We don't want to get inside just yet, let's see if it comes later. We want to check the outside and then we want to write it down. Now I do have it written down. I did this before Oh, y'all came and watched. I marked down that she has a couple bruises on her face, um, cuts, scrapes on her arms. Her arms have been beaten. She, she most likely has been beaten to death. In any case, the next step in a procedure after you write it down on your little case file is you want to make a Y incision on the body. What you do is you take an incision from the middle of the shoulders down to the mid chest, down to the pubic region. This is going to open up so you can get all your intestines. You want to look at the stomach, the heart, the liver, everything. You want to weigh it. Now, I've already done this and I have um, opened up and what I'm going to do is going to show you everything that uh, is in this, my patient, Cassandra Smith's body. Um, one thing that I am not going to show you for time's sake is um, the brain. The brain, what you do is you'll cut, you'll make an incision on, along the back of the head just in case the parents or the family want to have a, a wake, a funeral for their child, father, mother, daughter, anything. When you have a funeral, you want to have the part covered up. You don't want a big scratch in front of your face for everyone to see. So what you do is make an incision on the back of the head, on the back of the head, right like this right back here and then you can open it up and make a bright er, and you can see the brain I don't have the brain right now we already weighed it it's in the back of the room many pathologists do things differently they do the procedure a little bit differently after you get past the um, checking the outside um, cutting the Y shape and doing that brain now you can take out many things in different ways and as you can see I've already done this um, well as you can see there's been some ribs she has been beaten uh, they, her ribs they they're all um, mangled her ribs they got they got taken out I don't know how this happened all her ribs are broken uh, you know what just leave it out anyway uh, all over the place. All right, now that we got the ribs out of the way, we can come back. Oh dear Lord, what's this? Woo! All the ribs. <laughs> Left that out. Anyway, uh, don't worry. Let's try somewhere over here. Next, we're gonna. Oh look, another rib. A rib. A rib. <laughs> anyway, oh look what we have here. We have the intestines. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Um, this would have to be the small intestine, all tangled up. Did you know that it is seven feet long? Actually, this is a normal person's intestines. I, you know what, no, we'll just put them down here. Okay, now we are moving on to the heart. The heart, oh, let's see. Eh, eh, rib. Small intestine. Heart! Oh my god, we found her heart! Now, I, I don't know if you can see this, but um, her heart looks like it may have been broken. And maybe her boyfriend did the beating. Um, her heart has been broken. And it's very, very sad. Oh well, it doesn't even matter anymore. She's dead! <laughs> Next, we want to uh, check out the lungs. The lungs are going to be very very important. She was a smoker. She was definitely a smoker. You see how these lungs, this lung is very black. I don't know if you can see it. See, 
over here. The long is very black. She was a smoker. Maybe her boyfriend uh, killed her with a pack of cigarettes because they were arguing. Uh, you know, who knows? All we know is she's a smoker. We should write that down. Ah! Okay. Write down smoker. Oh, look. Ribs. Next, we're going to uh, look at the liver. Liver. Oh, there is the liver. Here we are, the liver. This is her liver. Yes. It's very nice, nice and rich color. You know, um, I, I don't see very much. My smoking may have deformed it, cracked it a little bit. But, you know, who cares? Anyway, on to the next thing. Stomach! We forgot the stomach. The stomach! We got, look. Oh, oh. Yes, the stomach is very full. This is uh, her stomach. Um, it's very, very full, as you can see. It's not shrink to the size. I'm sure we can, uh... Well, let's, let's see what's in this. Uh, snip here, snip there, huh? You know, yeah. There's not... Uh, well, I, um, yeah, wow. This is very... Ew. Very interesting here. We have the stomach, the contents in the stomach. Um, she she did have a meal before she died. Her last meal, it may have been uh, hard. It, I don't really know. Um, this is what the stomach looks like after all the contents have been emptied out. Uh, very sausage-like like this. Um, we should mark this down. Mark down, okay. Now what we need to do is I gotta check her little, we gotta check what we all written down. Alright, so we are pretty much done with the autopsy. We got all our major organs out, the lungs, the heart, we did the, the stomach, um, the ribs, I show the ribs. Usually you don't take those out, but hey, you know how I am. It's crazy, huh? Anyway, we took all these out, we measured them, um, we recorded it down here. Yes, this is her little file. Um, this is very, very heartbreaking. We found out what killed her. Let me fix the rest of her up. We need to, uh, take all of this. We need to take it down and, and sew her up. Let me fix this. Oh, so, so, all right. These, um, we gotta sew her up now. Okay. So, okay. So. All right. We finally figured out how she died. I suspect that she died from a broken heart. She had cigarettes, smoker, black lung. She had cigarettes, she wouldn't give it to him. He beat her, as you can see by the bruises, scrapes, cut her, tried to do away with her. And finally she died of a broken heart. Isn't this very tragic? Anyway, we found out how she died. I showed you a couple steps of an autopsy. And we are done here. This is